everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. Today is Punched Out Thursday to Die For and I am using my Circle Punch, which you saw right there. And I am also using my Hip Kit Club kits from this past month. And first I'm going to use some clear um, gesso to prep my white cardstock. I am using Vicki Booten's foundation paper and I am also, um, like I said, prepping it with some clear gesso so that it'll kind of you it'll kind of be like a sealant for my paper so it could get ready for any mixed media that I'm going to be putting on top of it um, and it won't seep through or saturate the paper or anything like that. So once I do that I'm going to come in with one of my magical powders that I got in my hip kit club as well kit. This one is hot red poker orange it's a really cool fall color and I love it. Um, it's got a little bit of a yellow in it too and orange of course. And it looks really cool. I just like this color a lot. I've used it on quite a few of my fall layouts. So with my Hip Kit Club kit, um, you can get your main kit, you can get a color kit. There's all different kits that you can get um, for each month. And I always get the color kit so that I can use them all the time and I'll always have a huge collection of watercolors. So what I'm doing is just the packaging technique as you saw there. Um, I'm just kind of smushing it on my paper. That's how it's going to go. I already die cut my circles out off camera and I used quite a few of the pattern papers and most of the pattern papers that I have left over from my Hip Kit Club kit are just um, leftover scraps basically. I don't have much of the kit left at all. I've gone through mostly all of my papers. So which is a good thing. So right now what I'm doing is I just wet down some more and um, I used it to you do some splatters on my paper as well. And now what I'm doing is I'm distressing each one of those circles that I cut out and I'm using my distress tool and I'm also going to use some Distress Oxide, which is Aged Mahogany. I love this color. Um, it's like a deep red and it's super pretty. Kind of like a dark red actually. And it's, um, it'll make it pop off more off of my um, white background as well with the um, watercolor that I put on it as well. So these are the papers that I used. I kind of used a mixture of different pattern papers that were in the kit that I got. And now I'm going to back my photo with this deep dark orange color, which is super pretty as well. Now most of these papers that I did get in the kit are from Pink Fresh. So, um, and it's their new, new collection for autumn. I believe most of them are. Some of them are simple stories as well. So I'll have to double check that for you. Um, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue down these two bigger circles on each side of my paper. One on the top and one on the bottom. I'm going to go in a diagonal direction here. And then I'm going to kind of layer these ones on top like that. And I'm going to do that on top and on bottom there. And then I'm going to pop my photo up, my um, photo up on some craft foam as well. The circles, I basically just glue down flat. I think only one of them I pop up with some craft foam because I needed it to be leveled off with the picture. So most of this mixed media that you saw that looked like a hot mess is covered up. So see the magic of mixed media you can cover a lot of it up. Um, and most of it does get covered up most of the time um, whenever you watch someone doing mixed media. Most of the mixed media does get covered up. So you really don't have to worry. There isn't a wrong way to do this. There isn't a right way to do it. It's just however you want it to look, um, your background to look, how much you want of it to show. Um, that's how I see it. Um, and this is the way I kind of just go with it. And now I glued that down after I popped it up with some craft foam. And now I'm just going to glue these circles down. And then I'm going to go on the other side and do the um, other ones as well. 
So you can see here, I'm just showing you the one here. Um, I'm going to pop up half of it on craft foam so it kind of is level with my photo. Because if I didn't, it would kind of look kind of weird. <laughs> so, and this one I think I took under just a little bit. And then um, I glue this one down. And the photo, like I was telling you, it is a photo of my two girls. Um, I took them to a pumpkin farm that was right by where they take karate and um, took a few pictures. And that is the photo that I'm documenting today. And they had a lot of Charlie Brown, um, the great pumpkin Charlie Brown signs up and things like that. So it was a really cool um, pumpkin farm. So we took their picture in front of one of them. And now I'm doing this side. And while I'm doing that, I also want to remind you all not to forget to check out the other ladies who are also in Punched Out Thursday to Die For. I will have their links down below. So make sure you check them out as well. And there's that one. And now my circles are all done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off those bottoms that are kind of hanging over. And I just trim them off with my scissors. And then that'll be all done. And then I'm going to start coming in with my embellishments. Now in my kit, I got quite a few embellishments. Because I always order not just the main kit and the color kit, but I also order the embellishment kit. So we got these really cool leaves that are for fall. And I decided to use a whole bunch of them that match these beautiful pattern papers. And I kind of distressed the edges with some of that aged mahogany. Distress oxide as well. And now I'm just going to pop some up, some up on craft foam and then glue them down. And I'm just going to tuck them here on the side of my photo on this side and then on the um, left hand side as well. And I just kind of keep going with this. And I just keep um, distressing the edges and then gluing them down and popping them up. Now these, flower, these um, fall, we got flowers and we also got leaves as well. So I decided to use mostly leaves and like little berries. They look like little berries. Um, and I just use those for this layout. Um, but there are beautiful flowers that we also got in the collections as well. So, um, yeah, I really love getting my Hip Kit Club kits. Um, it's really cool because if you don't go out, you don't really need to go out and buy much because you get so much with these kits that it's just easy enough just to use and it could last you a, a month um, depending on how much you you know you scrap but um, yeah they last really long time and I love them and I always have leftovers so um, it works out really really well and it's totally worth it for me anyways but um, and I also like what I get too and it's great to get stuff in the mail you guys know how it is you get Good stuff in the mail and those are your goodies for the month that you get to use and it's super fun so and I'm just finishing that side and now I'm gonna come in with my title which we got these stickers and they're from simple story and it's their fall collection as well and it's called um, my title is gonna be hello fall and they're in all the colors of these pattern papers which is super amazing that they are able to just put different collections together and they all match so it's super cool too with the hip kit club kits and i'm going to stick a couple of these leaves that were also on the sticker sheet on here kind of making them look like they're blowing off my page and i just stuck a few on each side and these stuck really well, so I didn't need to glue them down, which was super cool. Then we also got these little round chipboard pieces, and this one has some flowers on it, so I decided to use that one. And I used this little um, blue one that says beauty, and then this gray one, which I forgot what it says, sorry about that, but it has something to do with fall, I believe. And um, I 
did distress the edges of these with that age mahogany as well because I wanted it to kind of pop up off the page a little bit more. And I did all of them with that. And then those I just kind of stuck down because they were very, um, they stuck really well too. So I didn't need to add any glue to those because sometimes your thickers don't stick well or your chipboard pieces and you have to put glue on it, especially when you do mixed media. But I didn't have to with these, which was super cool. So then I decided to come up with this chipboard piece, which says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And I decided to stick it up in the corner of my photo there because I kind of wanted to cover that back part where you saw those pumpkins lined up. And then I came in with some enamel dots. And these also came in my Hip Kit Club kit as well. And I just stuck a few in a couple of the clusters. And that's it. It was a super simple layout, super pretty with all of them beautiful papers that I used and the color and the background and everything just went well so well together that's why I love getting these kits because pretty much it's put together for you and it's just however whatever type of layout you want to do so I hope you like it um, if you're not subscribed to my channel I would love to have you just hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video and guys, leave me some thumbs ups and comments. I love to hear from you guys. And I like getting the thumbs up. It also helps with YouTube as well. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And remember, stay crafty. Bye.